All right, so I'm back. It's been running for uh, 10, 12 minutes, but the compressors aren't firing up. Good call, Joe. On the compressors, don't the compressors don't sound too good. Uh, well, they do have an unloader on them, like I s stated, but um, it did seem a little shady to me that I was unloading so quickly and so fast, but. I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off right here, and I want you to listen to that reheat valve, that reheat coil valve right there. It's not something I can fix. It's not something really anybody's gonna have a part on their truck for it. Listen to that thing. You hear that? I bet you do. That thing is. I think that thing's messed up, but. Just pop it a little bit. I can hear it. It's clicking and it's just it ain't letting it in. It ain't letting it in. I can feel I can feel through this frame right here, like the refrigerant going into the compressor. I don't really see anything in the sight glass, but sight glass is on the compressors here and here. Fuck. Dang. This might have to call out the pros. I ain't no pro. I ain't gonna claim to be. But my best bet right now, I've never, I, I never heard that thing click on and off like that. We're gonna go back over here. The fan's firing up now. And uh, take a step back here. Yeah, that's what these manuals are good for you. Stick them up on her here so you can get up here <laughs> without cutting them, of course. But I checked everything, I checked all the fuses as you saw. Um, just this is basic maintenance here, guys. I'm not an HVAC technician, especially not for one of these dang Aeon units. And you know, even when we call the uh, we call the AC company, they they're just as stumbled as I am and they spend maybe four or five hours trying to find this stuff out when there's no blinky codes on uh, compressor unloaders because they've never fired up uh, brownout controller or whatever this is, it, uh, what is it? yeah it is a phase brownout don't have no lights on it and I checked all the fuses so um, could be it could be a number of things with these Aeon units. They, I mean, they have so much crap going on. Um, they're probably easier than than I think they are, but man, it, it takes you a while to learn about these things. I'll tell you that. Um, uh, as you saw in, in, in the beginning of the video, there's a uh, laptop down there that kind of has all the sensor data and readouts and stuff and that's been controlled by this little doodad here just uh i mean for for shits and see i don't have time guys i'm i'm getting called all the time so four times since i've been ended this video i've only been up here 15 minutes go ahead for dumb shit too what Like, like I said, it's it's dumb shit, like like that. Uh, everything's like labeled pretty cool. Like, here's contactor three, contactor, contactor. That's just a turn block. So this is this is separated pretty good. These are all heating and heating fuses. So my problem is I don't have cooling, so it's up there at the top. And uh, of course those contactors aren't pulled in because those yellow wires right there I believe go to the compressor yes those are the commons for the compressor right here so they go down and s around there but everything is labeled look at this high pressure switch low pressure switch what I love about these Aon units is well right now until everything gets discombobulated and reheat coil valve which is the thing that's going click, 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 or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. And this, oh, that's lovely. Right. It's not even, 
just broke off, okay? Somebody's been in here before. Me. So, uh, there's two little heat plugs right here that, uh, that blow cold air into this cabinet and keep these compressors somewhat cool. Um, well, there's, uh, condenser coil valve here. There's, this thing is what's, I've never heard that do that before. I've never heard a click, but could be normal. As many weird sounds as this thing makes, man. They, they just keep telling me that. <sighs> it's kind of hard to work on it without a ladder up here and leaning up against this nice 208 three-phase crap up here. So you gotta climb around and one slip and you can you could hurt yourself up here. But um, I noticed that this static pressure sensor because. It's labeled. It's unhooked. I bet it went into there, but if it's unhooked, it's unhooked for a reason, I'm sure. So we'll just leave it unhooked. And uh, they'll probably come in and plug it up and it'll work. And then I'll be like, I did not unhook that. Y'all saw that, right? I was already unhooked. I don't unhook shit from this thing, dude. <laughs> If you're unhooking shit, man, you better be making sure you're keeping track of where everything goes. Especially when you get to unhooking anything over there. Anything over there. But, check all the fuses. Did my little preventive maintenance thing. They're just going to have to come out here and, and work on it. It's the bottom line right there. But, Joe, thanks for watching, man. Um, compressor didn't sound too good. You're right. It didn't. Uh, a day later, dollar short. All right, let me, uh, I'm trying to stay on the middle, I mean the edges of this. I ain't even supposed to be walking on that crap. All right, here's a trick. Put that like that. There we go. Well, uh, yeah, I didn't even bring up my ladder for this. I can see everything, and my suspicion is this reheat coil valve um, so when that uh when they come and everything I'll, I'll give you an update on what this what was actually wrong with this unit so come back over um, it has been a great freaking day so far it's Jeff the maintenance man guys working on big ass Aeon units hot I'm just gonna call on the pros. Put in the comment section what you think's wrong with this thing after my little tour. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Summer breeze.